Hey everyone. Um, I got an email recently asking me if I could figure out if you can use your own samples in the demo of Signal. Um, so I went ahead and downloaded the demo so I can figure that out. Um, honestly, it looks like you should be able to. Um, doesn't look like there is any problem with that. Um, I have a better method of doing this from, uh, as compared to my first video on the full version of Signal. Um, if you are able to do this, um, this should work. So what you do is you load up two instances of the library in question. Um, so you go into one of the copies, doesn't matter which one. So let's assume these are not selected. So you select group editor and mapping editor. And then what you will do is deselect selected groups only. So that what happens is you have all of the samples visible. They'll be overlapped. So it'll be uh, just a big blob of color. So you'll um, highlight all of those and then delete zones and it looks like I'll have to do it a couple times okay um, so it looks like all the samples are deleted um, so then what you'll do now is um, let's see Purge empty groups. Okay. Now it keeps one layer, um, but that's okay. So now what we do is we go to the second instrument that's loaded. We don't need the mapping editor. We just need the group editor open. Then what we'll do is uh, press control and then click on Make sure that's highlighted with a box around it. So this one is highlighted, uh, so that's selected. Then this one, because of the box around it, is selected. Then I would go down. You can let go of control, but once you start clicking again, you got to make sure you press it before you click. Then press control. Then I would... Dang it. I would... Uh, select the dummy and scan because again um, like the one uh, in the when the video I did of the full version I didn't delete those because I just don't know what they do and I don't want to delete them so um, so copy selected groups and then go back to the instrument where you deleted all the groups then paste groups and since you're, you're going to be using your own samples I would just do without samples um, paste groups without samples okay then what you do I would delete that group that was there when you deleted all the groups because it, you can't delete everything there needs to be at least one group so it left that one. So now all you have is layer one, layer two, dummy and scan. Um, so now we'll need to test out if you can actually use your own samples, which it doesn't appear that there should be any problem with that, honestly. Um, then let's just go and try something out. Now I'll just use some samples from Chordscape and I'm sure you can use NCW or WAV files yeah, the folder's so big sorry okay so these are uh, WAV files actually these are the ones I converted I still haven't deleted them um, I really liked Mystic Tremolo, that sample. So let's try that. So let's put it at C3. 
Yeah, C4, never mind. C4. And then we'll, we'll just drag. Let's try another. Oh, yeah, selected groups only. So once you get this, you might want to reselect this thing so that you only see the group you're working with. Um, let's try another minor chord. Um, piano drift. Let's put that at C4 as well. And the reason I'm doing that is because they're C chords. So, And I won't put anything in these ones. Um, okay. Well, let me just check to see. Do these have samples in them? Scan and dummy do not. And actually, what? these ones don't have any either. What am I looking at? That's weird. Okay, so apparently a lot of these groups are empty. Maybe they intended for you to use your own samples. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's... We don't need this one anymore. Um, So, we have our own samples loaded. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'm not getting any sound. Let's try. Saving it.
So I'm actually surprised how well these samples are working. Um, it doesn't appear that layer two is acti activated. Um, you know, it's the same problem I had with using the samples in the, f the full version. Um, I really don't know how to make sure that's activated because sometimes it might just be the preset but I like even I mean let's see well, it's just that Let's see if we name this pad two. Go to a different preset. All right, so I mean, it's still cool, still still works, um, but. Again, I'm not sure how to to make sure that both sources are working. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
So yeah, it's kind of weird because pad layer layer one is playing, but then it's acting like acting like layer two is because it's on the right. I would assume that layer one would be on the left, but and it doesn't seem like there's like an on off switch and I tried changing the source because of course the sounds aren't here but um, but I still was thinking you know maybe if I changed what was selected here then it would activate the second group here but it's not uh, let me try putting them in here Honestly, I don't think those do anything, and that's why I'm afraid to delete them, because I don't know what they do. Um, so I already have this saved, so I'm just just for fun. We'll delete these groups. Let's change the preset. Actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> so we got so we got that sound from this. Yeah, it works, but um, I'm just not sure how to get both layers to work. Um, I mean, we can do it, um, but at least the way that I like to do it, which is to only have the sounds that you want to use, the groups right here. Because otherwise you have to scroll through the groups and replace certain sa uh, samples. So I'll resave this, but we'll... Um, We'll try this again, and um, unfortunately, if you want to have two layers, you know, you'll have to you'll have to replace specific groups, which means that you can't demo the presets with those samples because they'll they'll load different samples when you do the presets. So what you do is um, you figure out. I'll, I'll just keep it at uh, the first preset. So you figure out what what groups are being activated. If there are any. Forty six. So hmm. Maybe we we can try this, but let's so layer two is ARP 11 and layer 1 is 46 let's open 2 again um, so what we'll do is since that's the demo preset We'll, we'll try this. Um, mapping editor. 
and all right so which one are we gonna okay let's delete everything in this so remember we um, deselect this so that we see every single sample so I'm gonna go all the way to the top and then screw all the way to the bottom hopefully I get all of them delete zones looks like I got them all right so we will um, purge empty groups and don't worry we'll delete that one as well um, so from this second one we will copy 11 layer 2 46 layer 1 and for good measure dummy and scan right click copy selected groups then we will go to the original one whoops we will paste groups without samples so these were the groups that were um, okay so delete this one even though it's kind of a, it's just a duplicate of that but um, it's, it's one that we didn't paste into it though so I'll just I'll just delete this one okay let's see if this works now it should work for the initial preset um, but whether or not it works when you go through the presets that's to be determined um, all right And then let's try another sample. And this is a B note, so I'll put it there. Let's see if those are both active. Okay, I gotta get the uh, first one deleted. Okay. All right, it's not doing anything. Um, so it looks like you have to reselect it or something. So I know what I'll do. I don't want to mess with that. So So let's reopen it. Okay, so yeah, it appears that you have to kind of reset it by switching to a different preset. Um, so it looks like it's playing both. Oh, I'm uh, surprised how good the Chordscape samples sound through that. Um, so, let's see, they're actually a little loud though.
If you want to get cheesy. Um, all right, so let's see if it still plays both. And we're running into the same problem. Not a big deal, because, I mean, it's really just a matter of you can't try out these other presets for your samples. You're just going to have to build your own presets, you know. Um, but let's see if we go back to that initial. So it plays plays those the, both of those samples. Um, and I'm wondering if it wouldn't if you changed the name of them. Um, I would think that's possible that it wouldn't. Um, I think what's what's potentially going on is that when you change the preset, it has certain groups that it's assigned to, and it doesn't see those groups, so it kind of defaults to one sample or something. Um, whereas with the initial one, it, these groups are the same, so it's still playing them. And so when you go to these, it's like, where are the groups? They're not there. Well, I know it's not not a living entity, but I mean, um, it's just not recognizing them. So it just defaults to the first group, I'm thinking. Because, I mean, if these were flipped, I think it would just play this one because this one would be in the first slot. So I think it's just defaulting to the first one. And just doesn't recognize um, the, the 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 other group, um, or so that's what I think is going on here. So you just can't um, can't preview that uh, those other presets for the samples you get. But the best way I think is, would probably be to do this, where you have the first preset loaded, you load two different uh, instances of signal demo, then you copy these specific layers that are for the first demo, or the first preset, and then you have to like do this, and then back to the first one, and then it will play both layers. So then you know at least that any samples you put in there it will play both layers uh, you just can't demo how those those le uh, different samples you want to use would be in the other presets I mean you could but you would have to again go back to the original demo uh, instrument and then load up those samples into those preset groups so that would be very time-consuming it'd probably be better just to make up your own um, presets so there you go. Sorry for the long video. I just kind of, I, I just uh, ordered this and got it loaded up right now. So this is the first time using it. So I just wanted to kind of on the fly see if it would work. And it does. So you can um, use your own samples in this. And it looks like it's basically fully f featured. I mean, all the the effects and everything that come with it. Um, and you know, I'm thinking they're just the, it's, it's not really that they come with it. I mean, if you look under the, the wrench here, um, these are all in contact, but their GUI is, you know, activated, um, in a certain way. Um, and there might be some custom things. I don't really know how, uh, scripting works or anything. Um, but these are basically things that are in contact already, so they're just kind of providing um, ease of use, uh, at least my understanding. That's the way that works. Um, and this stuff might be custom, you know, just it's custom scripting. Um, yeah, you even get the advanced thing here. So the only thing you don't get is the full uh, thing of samples um, and for using your own samples it's not a problem so um, 
There you go. Thanks for watching.